Welcome back. Well, hiring a professional can be challenging, whether it's someone like a doctor, maybe a lawyer, or a real estate agent. The fact that you need to hire one usually indicates maybe you're not the expert in that subject matter. So today, Conrad J. Clinkhammer, a real estate agent at Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Premier Properties, is an expert in real estate and can help us really understand when a real estate agent is working for us. Good to see you, Conrad. Welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me. So let's talk about this because this is important to have a real estate agent that is working for you. What's a good measurement? How do you know that? Yeah, you know, there's over a hundred different things that we do as agents to help manage the transaction for our clients. But rather than going through each item one by one, I think it's important to understand that real estate is a big deal. You need someone who's going to take a look at the big picture. And what that means is understanding that in the transaction, you could be dealing with anything from a salesperson to an advisor. And understanding on that spectrum what you're dealing with is what's gonna help you know whether or not your agent is working for you, okay? So a salesperson is somebody, think like when you go shoe shopping or go to buy a car, you show up, you give them the details you're looking for, the size, the color, um, things like that. They go in the back, they grab the inventory they have, they bring it to you and sell it to you. That's what a salesperson is. Whereas an advisor is someone who's gonna help you understand the big picture, understand your place in the market. You know, that's the real difference between say like Zillow and myself. Zillow has a lot of information, usually pretty accurate, but what Zillow is not gonna be able to help you do is understand how that information is relative, relevant to you. And that's so, why you need an advisor. So how do then do we go about sort of evaluating the performance of our real estate advisor? Yeah, so you're gonna to wanna to expect to be gaining new knowledge, right? You should be learning your place in the market. So in fact, realtors have two very distinct jobs. On the outside, it looks like we're doing the same thing over and over, just selling houses. But in fact, it's very important to judge each job by its own separate, uh, separate metrics, because if we're dealing with a buyer or a seller, it's just different. So if I'm a seller, what am I looking for now to make sure that, hey, this, this person's working for me? Yeah, well, obviously, if your house sells right away, they're probably doing a pretty good job. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not always in our control, whether or not a house sells right away. There are basically only three reasons that a house doesn't sell right away, and that's going to be the market, the marketing, or the price. So again, it's about learning your place in the market. If your real estate agent is helping you to understand the why and the how of which of those three is the reason you're not getting showings or offers, then you know they're doing their job. And what should I be expecting if I'm a buyer? Well, here's where the distinction between salesperson and advisor makes the most difference, right? So a salesperson, I'm sure you've heard the saying, always be closing. They should be trying to sell you something. When in fact, in real estate, the fact that you're working with a professional means that you've already decided to buy. So there's nothing for us to sell. What we should be doing is helping you understand not just the positives, but the negatives of each house and how that house works relative to you. Right, so information is everywhere. Anybody can be bringing you information, but they're gonna truly be working for you when they bring you knowledge and understanding of your own personal situation, whether on the buying or the selling side. You should be expecting to gain knowledge about your place in the market. Great distinction. I got a little bit more time. Is there anything else you wanna add or share, Conrad? Yeah, you know, I did want to mention that uh, things are looking really great in North Dakota. We are up for the year as far as home sales overall. The market is really, really hot right now, and it has been hot through the entire uh, pandemic situation. It hasn't slowed anything down. And in fact, numbers the last three days have been lower in total cases in North Dakota than, uh, you know, cases are starting to go down. So not only have things been hot, I can only expect them to get hotter. So if you've been nervous or worried at all, I would definitely say, don't worry about it. Contact a real estate professional because now's the time to buy. Speaking of contact, contacting a real estate professional, how do we get a hold of you? Yeah, I'm really easy to find. It's conradfargo.com or you can email me, conradfargo at gmail.com. I'm on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash conradfargo. You can also call or text me, 701-388-9420. I'm always available. Conrad, great stuff. We appreciate it and uh, enjoy some sunshine, my friend. Thank you. You as well. All right. Stay with us. When we come back, we got your daily dose of motivation.